Yo, what's happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online money glitch video, alright? So in today's video, you guys have been asking for a money glitch video, I haven't posted one in a little while, so I thought I would post this one. It's a new uh, updated version of it, but it is still working, it's the facility merge glitch, the very old method. Uh, but yeah guys, this is still working and there's actually a way where you can keep doing this over and over again and not have to merge the facilities again. Alright, and I'll explain that at the end of the video, but uh, yeah, so the founders of this glitch are Bruntango for the whole, you know, facility version of the merge glitch and uh, Killer Gaming actually was the first one to merge, you know, bunkers and stuff, which actually led to the uh, facility merge. So shout out to those guys. Now what you're going to need is you need one friend. You both need the same facility. That's very important. You and your friend need the same facility. Your friend needs an Avenger, okay? You don't need an Avenger to be the duper, but the helper needs an Avenger, okay? And the helper, you want to make sure that you have a full facility. So make sure you have, you know, a bunch of cars and stuff in all the slots. All right, and you'll see why later. Now, the duper, you need retro customs or whatever Benny's vehicles you're duplicating parked in your facility. You know, the more the merrier. Definitely the more the better. Uh, but if you only have one, just start off with that. Then no custom plates needed. And you also want a garage full of Fagios or RH8s to dupe over. And the ability to sign in as a CEO or an MC. All right. So we're going to get started with the glitch here. Now, what just happened is my friend went into his facility and he's going inside of his Avenger. Okay. And he's going to wait for me. He's in his Avenger. He's ready to go. What I'm going to go ahead and do is actually before I go into my facility, I'm going to use my MC menu and I'm just going to call out a bike, uh, you know, a Fagio if you want or an RH8 if through your mechanic, you need something to dupe over. OK, so we're going to be duping over that bike. You just leave it outside before you go ahead and do the glitch. OK, so now once we're inside here, what we're going to do is I like to stand up here in this little area uh, to, to just show you guys once the facilities merge and stuff, you know how it looks. But um, yeah, so just make sure, so take a look at the little, you know, booster pack thing that I got there. Um, you know, just look at that because that will disappear when the facilities merge. Okay, so uh, yeah, the little jet pack. So uh, yeah, because my friend doesn't have one. So that's how I'll know it's going to merge. So what we're going to do now is my friend is inside of his Avenger. Okay, now he's going to open up his phone and he's going to get ready to accept my invite to the CEO. So you saw I just signed in as a CEO and I'm going to go ahead and send him an invite to my organization. Okay, don't mind this little first attempt here. I actually messed up. Uh, I, I retired before he was able to actually accept it, so the invite went away. Okay, that's what you're seeing right now. So what's going to happen is on this one, I'm going to go ahead and register as a CEO, and I'm going to send him an invite. He's going to hover over the invite, and he's going to count us down. He's going to say three, two, one, go, and on go, he's going to go ahead and accept the invite, and then when I hear go, I'm going to go ahead and retire. So three, two, one, go. Okay. So what just happened there, nothing happened on his end. If nothing happens to the guy in the Avenger, you're good to go, okay? So now on this next one, my friend is going to go ahead and my friend is actually going to, you know, walk up to the Avenger door and get ready to exit Avenger. Now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to register as a CEO. I'm going to count us down. I'm going to say three, two, one go okay and on go right now boom i'm going ahead and i'm registering and then retiring as quick as i can he is gonna go ahead and when he hears one he's actually gonna just gonna go ahead and exit the avenger basically you want to be registering like right before he exits the avenger okay and if done correctly you guys should merge into the facility now if that was confusing rewatch it but guys the timing is different for everybody okay like it's when i do this with my friend in the uk our timing is like super crazy it takes a while to get it but if i do this with my friends in the us the timing is mad easy and it's only like a second or two delay it all depends on your mic delay guys so you have to figure out exactly what your delays are all right but it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it and once you've gotten your timing down with your friend. All right, so go ahead and once you've gotten your facility successfully merged, you see all of my cars here, okay? Now, you need to give your friend vehicle access. So what you do is you hop in, he hops in the passenger seat. You get out, he gets out, and now he can go ahead and hop into the driver's seat and he can actually drive cars in the facility. Just like that, okay? So all I got to do is go ahead and hop in. Now, what you could have done is give him access to all the vehicles in the facility at the same time so he can actually drive them whenever he wants. But I'll show you how to do that next. We're just going to go ahead and do one car here for now. So what he's doing is he's going to go ahead and park it up by this railing. You guys remember this little trick. This is where you're able to teleport, uh, you know, without having to use another car. So just make sure both doors are wedged in a good spot. And he's going to go ahead and teleport out. I teleport out and then I teleport back in. That's how you get access back to the vehicle. Okay. So 
I don't know if you guys saw the plate there. It was a KJB plate. And once I'm ready and I know I'm going to be able to teleport, go to the yellow circle. You guys know the trick, man. A and Y at the same time. That's X and triangle on PlayStation. So you guys, all you got to do is do that. Sometimes you'll see a flicker of you in the car, sometimes not. But uh, yeah, that's just, you know, that's just the way it goes. All right, so now and uh i actually forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that you need an moc i'll definitely put something you know in text wise over there in the video but yeah you need an moc to save the vehicles so as you can see right there my plate was brand new this is a fresh clean duplicate and i need to go ahead and drive to my moc and save it okay now the good news is about the moc is when the facilities are merged the moc will not despawn okay so you're gonna see right here what we do what I'm going to go ahead and do now is save the vehicle. I'm good to go. All I have to do now is exit the Avenger. All right. So I'm just going to make a note. All right. Now the MOC, go ahead and just drive it over to the facility, you know, and just park it, you know, as close as you can to where you can still get the, uh, the blue circle in the back to be able to save, you know, all of your retros, your dupes. Remember guys, Benny's vehicles. We only do Benny's vehicles for a reason. Don't dupe Deluxos or anything like that. It does not work in the same way. All right. Dupe Benny's vehicles only. So once you have your MOC parked there, ready to go, you can go ahead and sign in as an MC right now and go ahead and call up your Fagios or in my case, I'm using a Blazer. It's all the same. Anything to just ride over. Everything in the game has plates, so you can literally ride over everything. If you want, go ahead and take a look at the plate. That plate will be the thing that or will be the one that merges onto our brand new dupe after that. So go ahead and take a look at that. 168, I think, was at the end of it. And once you have your vehicle outside, you have your MOC ready to go, you can go ahead and start duplicating cars and super fast and super, super easy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make our way inside of the facility. All right, it is still merged. It is still glitched. I'm going to go ahead and give my friend access to both of these retros right here. We're just going to be doing three dupes for this video. So you see, I get in first, then he gets in. I get out, and then he go ahead. Uh, he's going to go ahead and get out and then back in on the driver's seat and he has access. Now, if you want to give your friend access to multiple vehicles, this is what you do. Once he has access, go ahead and just tell him to drive up a little bit, just like that is fine. And now he can hop out and he has access to that one full time. So now I can go ahead and hop into this one and give him access to this one. So I go in first, he goes in second. I come out and then he's going to go ahead and get out of the driver's or the passenger seat and then go ahead and make his way into the driver's seat. Okay. And now he has access to this one too. So you can do that. If you have seven retros in your facility, you can give him access to all seven retros in the very beginning beginning and while you're outside saving the vehicle he can actually go, go ahead and get the next dupe ready to go for you over here in this spot you're going to see uh, that my friend's going to do that on the next dupe okay so i'm going to go ahead or my friend's going to go ahead and drive the car you know get us wedged in there all right now as you can see he kind of messed up there i wasn't able to teleport out so he's going to go ahead and fix it back up right now so he's going to fix the parking a little bit. And remember, he has to give me access back to the vehicle again. So I should have actually, you know, hopped into the car while he was doing this. But uh, yeah, so you're going to see right here, I got kind of confused. I was like, wait a minute, I can't get in the car right now. That's because I have to get in first and then, or he has to, he has to get in first and then I get in the passenger seat. Now he gets out and then I teleport out and back in. There we go. So now I have access back to the vehicle. I can teleport in and out. I know I'm good to go. This is when you go ahead and go to the yellow circle and hit A and Y or X and triangle at the same time. All right. And you see that I got a flicker of me in the car. That's a good thing. Sometimes remember, you do not always get that, but it could still work. All right. It usually works. If you guys do that, I've literally never failed that once, like not once. That's not even a joke. So, so you can see right here, we're teleported out with the car, got the brand new plate on it, that 168 at the end, and the MOC is still right there. So I can go ahead and save the vehicle right there, okay? Now, while I'm doing this, my friend's inside, and he's actually getting that other retro that I gave him access to ready to go. He's going to be parking it over there by the railing so that we don't have to do all that you know stuff every single time. So you can really speed up the process by actually giving your friend access to all the vehicles you know at the same time. So right now, as always, remember, I need a vehicle to dupe over. I have one more blazer just chilling in another garage. I just called it out and I'm going to go ahead and like always show you guys the plate just so you guys can reference that. I think that's one, two, two at the end. So that's going to be the plate that's on our fresh duplicate. I'm just going to fast forward through all this animation stuff. I'm really tired of the facility uh, door animation. But yeah, and you see my friend already has the car ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport into the passenger seat if I can. All right, let's see if I can. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be able to. All right, yeah, he has to teleport out first. Okay, so now I'm, I'm, you know, 
I get in the passenger seat, I teleport out, and then I can teleport in the driver's seat, okay? When you first go back in the facility, he has to like go out and in, all right? But that's all it is. You guys are literally just playing musical chairs, all right? Really, really simple, okay? So you see that? Now I can teleport in and out of the vehicle. I know I'm good to go to do this glitch, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the yellow circle, all right? So I'm at the yellow circle right now, hit A and Y, X and triangle at the same exact time, all right? And you see there, I didn't really get a flicker of being in the car, but you're gonna see it still works anyways, okay? So boom, just like that. If you're teleported outside with the car, you're good to go. That's gonna be a brand new duplicate, all right? As long as you had a vehicle out, you know, before that to actually go over, then, you know, you're gonna get a brand new plate gonna be a brand new dupe and it's gonna be perfectly clean and ready for you guys to sell all right make sure you're following the new daily sell limit rules okay new rules we can't sell you know every 31 minutes anymore now it's every 61 minutes one car every 61 minutes okay so at this point once I've saved that vehicle in there you know if you had more dupes you would obviously call out you know another blazer Fagio, RH8 whatever and you would just have it here on the map but what we're gonna actually do now is I'm gonna show you after duplicating three cars they're not in my facility now, I wasn't able to do this properly, but I'm gonna tell you my theory and how it should work. Now, Unfazed Gaming is the one that came up with this, but basically what you wanna do is, you see those are my friend's vehicles in there. So what he would wanna do is actually switch two of those around with the vehicle management circle, you know, the blue circle down there. And then I would go and I would switch those same two around. And if I did that, then my car should show up. My retros that I had there, the, the originals, they should show back up. But you see, they weren't doing it. My garage was just frozen. Now, what I think I did wrong is that he was supposed to switch around one of his vehicles with another one of my vehicles, okay? See, those are all his vehicles, so he was just switching those. And I think that's why it didn't work. So make sure your friend, uh, or at least try it this way, make sure your friend, you know, switches one of his vehicles with another one of your vehicles. And then you go to the management circle and you switch those same two. And then your other, you know, vehicle that was, you know, where his was at the moment should come back, okay? And then that's how you're able to do it without your friend having to like get unglitched and having to merge the facilities over again, okay? So that should work, all right, guys? So just try it out. You know, I wasn't able to successfully get it on video. I apologize, but I will update it if I find out, you know, any further information, okay? I'll put it down in the pinned comment, like always, all right? So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name's Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000. Peace out.